at the newly renovated East Gadsden Community Center since I've been in it last. <laughs> Looks beautiful in here now. Has some very special guests with me, and I'm going to let these people introduce themselves at this time. My name is Michael Brookins. I'm the ECBO president. Hi, my name is Connie Higgins, and I'm the signer and treasurer of Etowah County Bible Law Official Association. Uh, and I'm Craig Graves. I'm on the board. I'm also on the training committee. We'll start right back over here with you, Mike. Um, very special for you guys to come take time out of your day to do this before your meeting to bring awareness to being an official, volleyball official uh, specifically, which is what we're here for today. Uh, take us into your background. What got you into uh, to, to your to your path today? Sure. Um, I actually was a baseball official, and I guess it got to the point that it was getting too cold to call baseball. So <laughs> uh, I spoke to a friend of mine um, named Dexter Harry. He told me about volleyball, which he's not even calling volleyball now. He said, Michael, you need to get in volleyball. You would love it. Uh, it's a good sport, um, quick sport. So I got interested in it, and I've been calling probably for 13 years, and I love the game, and I love what I do. So um, I mean, I just love the group of people here. We're like a family here. So, I mean, that's just the logistics of everything. Absolutely. Um, I got into volleyball. My daughter started playing. And I realized how much I love volleyball. And the late, great Pat Martin is the reason I'm here today. Um, I've been doing volleyball for eight years, and um, she convinced me to come start officiating. And I absolutely love it. Love it. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing here for me. My daughter played in high school, and uh, I'm also a basketball official and do softball as well. Kind of had a void and in between the seasons and stuff. And McClare graduated high school and went on to college. I didn't have anything during that time. So they convinced me, while my cohorts and other association, asked me to come aboard and do volleyball. I love it. It's fun. It's, a, it's an exciting sport because there's always something going on. It's constant. And I, I always like just the, the atmosphere of being around it. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. And back to you, Mike. Um, this group of, of men and women that you have here in your organization here in Edwin County, can you talk about them and What's the selection process uh, to become an official here in Edwalk County? Um, with our association, uh, we have probably 50, 55 officials here. Um, we actually, we train every week. We actually, we want to make sure before we put you on the court, you qualify, you know the game, you know the rules. So we go an extra mile. We'll probably go an extra mile more than some people, more than we should go. And they'll tell you right now, me being in my position, I've been in president probably five, six years. I was very adamant about us training so much, meeting every week. But now I see that we're going in the right direction. We're picking up schools. So I just feel like this association is peaking and going the right way it should be going. No doubt. Now, you background uh, being a parent first, and now official. Uh, so I say that to say this. Uh, you, you've, you've seen both sides of it now. Yes. Uh, talk about that transition, both of you, actually. So. Talk about that transition of what it's like for you, you know, being a parent and um, and then becoming an official. So you've seen both spectrums and you know what to tell people who may be in the same situation looking to get into officiating. Yes, uh, we have several people that have reached out to us and they say, I love volleyball, but I just don't think I can officiate. Yes, you can. Um, I thought the same thing. It is so rewarding. Um, you meet these coaches, these girls. You go out to eat dinner and they're like, hey, you're my official, <laughs> you know, and they re recognize us sometimes when we don't recognize them because there's so many faces, but this is very rewarding. Um, if you don't think you can do it, come try it. I promise you, you can. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, just like when, when Claire she first, she first started doing volleyball, I had no clue anything about our rules in volleyball, and I, I was just a parent in the stand. Just, all I could do is just scream and yell, go, go, because... I didn't know what to tell her to do. Then once she graduated, I learned a little bit more than once I started getting involved with ECVOA. Um, it just it sort of takes it takes you over. It, you just kind of grab it and you think, oh, this is fun. I really like doing this. And the best thing about that, I enjoy about it, is you know, you start you see these kids when they're seventh grade, the little kids, and you watch them grow up and you become friends with them. And every time you go out somewhere, they know who you are. And that's that's really fun, like you mm -hmm. said. It's watching them grow up. Especially if they get to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. you say, I, I, I used to appreciate that girl there. That's, yeah. that's one of the rewarding things for me is in the, officiating as a whole. 
It's and cool. next thing you know, they're the coach on the bench. That's and right. you That's was their right. official at one time. That's right. Yeah. And or a parent in the stands that you right. officiated when, you know, they were um, on the court. Now their child is on the court. That's and they're right. cultivating a relationship with you guys. Right. Yeah. Last forever. And eventually yes. their kids will be. Right. <laughs> True that. Oh, yeah. Ain't yeah. no doubt about it. True. Now, Mike, here's another thing um, that Alan Cosby talked about when we interviewed him. It was mm-hmm. very special. People don't realize you can, you can make some pretty decent money doing this as well. Yeah, you, you uh, can. Talk about the benefits of that, you know, for somebody who made their own fence and how you can actually make have fun and make right, money at right. the same time. I, I think it just depends on the individual. It depends on how far you want to go. Um, I think if you get to the point of calling a lot of bars that are getting to the regional or state, it depends how much you push yourself. So it depends on the individual. Some guys want to come here for the satisfaction of making a dollar. I want to come into the point that I want to get better. I want to progress. I don't want my people to progress. So I'm that type of fish. So it depends on the individual. So it's hard to say that, speak on that behalf. Yeah. But yes, it is beneficial to the point of making good money. Now, for you guys, let me ask you this. Um, I've always personally, and I Corey Brothers and I talk about this a lot. To me, volleyball has been under that football umbrella because it's the same mm-hmm. time of year. Um, and I think that's a, a negative, but it's also a positive in some ways. Because I, like I tell Courtney, I think, Volleyball should own Monday through Thursday. It mm-hmm. should be volleyball time. Right. How do you guys feel about that? And what are some of the steps we could take to bring some awareness out, you know, not only for officials, but the sport in general? Okay. Well, I, mean, I, I believe it's just um, they've got to do a better job at scheduling sometimes. Uh, we're scattered out a lot on our schedules, and they're so thin. We're thin on officials, like a lot of associations are, and that's what we're trying to do now is bring awareness to volleyball to have more officials come in. And, you know, it's a great opportunity for, especially the younger generation who's graduated high school to come out here and you're going to college. You're trying to earn an extra dollar or two. And you think you're going out there to earn that money. But you really, I enjoy it. The money aspect of it is just a bonus. So it's something that you, you just takes you over and you're back in the game again. That's right. And you think, you think you're out of volleyball forever. And you start officiating, you, you realize, hey, I'm, I'm back in this game again. Right. And so, for the awareness of it, we just got to get more people involved. That's right. And I think that's the biggest thing is getting more people involved in what's going on. And we're so passionate at it that we actually give back. Cedar Gaston had like a beach volleyball type um, about two years ago down at Moraine Park, and we gave back to give to them to show that it's not about the money, it's about that we want to bring people out, want people to be involved. So, we brought our younger people out there. So, we didn't take no money. So, it's not all about the money all the time. It's about giving back. Yeah. And so we try to show that it's not about a dollar when it comes to us. It's about giving back. It's the love of the game. Yes, the, the love, love of the game. game. Yeah. That's, the, that's the key word, love of the game. We do the same with our schools. Our schools has play dates, right. and we volunteer to go officiate those play dates. Mm-hmm. Um, that way maybe they can make a little money at the door, right. and then it provides yeah. a service to our new officials because we're training them at the same time. Right. That's right. Like so win-win. Because they're getting on the job training. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, my your words, what type of person are you looking for? Like if somebody come in and you said, if you had a mold built of this is what I'm looking for to be an official here, what type I of person? Only one word, dedicated. 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 Makes sense. Dedicated. That, to me, that's take care of everything. Lead by example. You there for us. You, you represent ECDOA. You be professional in the court. Um, just being dedicated. And off the court. Off the court. Yes. No embarrassments off Thank the court. You. Exactly. Oh, exactly. <laughs> because I get those phone calls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so, yes, sir. so dedication is wow, sir. Ain't no doubt about yes. You don't want those phone calls. No, I, I don't want those phone calls. But sometimes I get them, you know, I'm professional or nothing. For the most part, the group we didn't had uh, for the last three or four years, everything's been good. We have those hiccups every now and then, but we take care of it. That's right. Now, you guys seem like a family. You talk about that. Once you do become a member of this and Seem like you guys are family oriented mm-hmm. and take take care of each other. We do. Um, we look out for each other. Um, we we do, we're a very close group. The majority of our officials has been here a good while. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I know Craig and I started the same year, two thousand fifteen, yes. um, and there's a lot of people that's been here at least that long or longer, like mm-hmm. Mike. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, we are a very tight and close fam- knit family. And if we feel like one of us is in need, we are not. We, right. First thing we want to do is help the other one. Yes. You know, if you have right. something going on, we call. We check mm-hmm. on you. A card, you know, right. from the association. So, That's yes. Awesome. It's just a camaraderie of us right. all the time. 
You know, we get, we get into our meetings with Joe. We go on, 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 a, on a game day. We go out to the games with Joe. Mm-hmm. We have a big tournament coming up. We'll call that weekend. We go out and eat afterwards. Mm-hmm. Talk about the game. Have fun. Get to know each other a little bit. Uh, you know, it, it is. It's, it's just a, it's a nice little family we have. It's just like any other kind of membership you go to. You get to know everybody. Once you get to know that person, you're getting more involved in their lives. And, That's right. You know, and, and you care more about what's going on. You have relationships outside of volleyball. Yep. Correct. Oh, yes. Correct. That's cool. Correct. Very cool. Yes. Question for you, I think it's a huge, and I think this could be a key component of this interview, coming from other sports over. Um, that transition, how was it for you? And what advice would you give to some officials who may be watching this of other sports that may be interested? Oh, well, for me, it was a lot easier for me than it is someone that's never officiated because I understood the concept of what to look for. It's something you have to you have to pay attention to what's going on. A lot of people, it's not just watching the game. you got to know the intricacies of the game to know how to what to look for. And so I was able to adapt that pretty well. Then it was just about learning the rules. That's right. So it, it's a lot simpler for someone who's already officiated other yeah. sports to come over and just pick it right up. I, th- I think Cunny, son, <clears throat> uh, um, we like, like I was telling you, we meet every week and we go over rules and everything. But I think hands-on is the best way of learning. If you're a new official, it's easier for me to teach you and read out the book in here. But once you get on that court, you have hands-on when I play dates, I think you adjust to the game better versus me reading to you and telling you about some. I think hands-on is a better way of doing it. So that's why our play dates, we have so many play dates to help our new officials in that aspect. What What are some ways, uh, say, a young lady or a young man, um, you know, young, young, just graduated, want to be a part of it, what would their first steps be? Well, first, we're actually, um, I got to be, quote me on the age, 18 years old. I'm 16. 16, 16 thank 16. you. 16. 16. Um, we'll reach out, they'll reach out to Connie. She's our treasure and booking person. Um, we'll put them on the email list. And after that, we'll start letting them know when our meetings, our play days. And basically, we'll just go from there. Right. It's kind of a value wait. You get to watch. We will evaluate, yeah, we'll evaluate. Yes, yes, we'll right. do that as well. We make sure we put the right group on the court for whatever level we're calling. Gotcha. Uh, even if we have a junior high game, one of us senior officials will get on there with somebody who's green. That's their first game. We're not going to put nobody out there that don't know nothing about the game by themselves uh, with another green person. So we make sure we take care of our people that way. No doubt. And um, now here's a question that, that – all officials I've always talked to um, always likes to touch on. The prime candidate nine times out of ten, a lot of times, is somebody who just graduated who loves the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What would you say the best path to get someone like that recruited over here would be? Okay. Come to a meeting. Um, come to a meeting or contact one of us, one of our officers. Um, we walk you through all the steps you're going to need to do to become an official as far as just sitting down with you and helping you if you can't follow the link, helping you follow the link, um, that is the easiest way to get into it. And any any problems you have, we're there for you to help. Now, now I, don't, I know we don't have a website for them to go to, but if you reach out to your local volleyball coach, they can get you in touch with our association. That's, mm-hmm. that's good. That's so, I mean, they really can. So, you know, just, you know, I know they don't know who we are, but still, like, if you, if you know the high school volleyball coach, they can tell you, oh, I, I can give you this person's number, reach out to them. That happens all the time. I've got someone who calls, hey, I got a friend who wants to call volleyball. Who do I need to get him in touch with? Have him call me. Love it. Yes. Um, especially, right. I mean, if it's you're a college, yeah, if you're, if you're a college student, it is. If you're, if you're a college student, this is a great atmosphere for you. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really is. It is. I mean, it's great, I mean, it's a great time. Uh, you learn a lot and you pick up that extra money. And mm-hmm. this might lead into a career. No, There's no. a lot of people start out in college think I'm just going to make a few extra dollars. Hey, then they get more involved in it, become dedicated, and now they're doing uh, GCO volleyball. Then they're doing a college somewhere, whether it's uh, Division One or Division Two. <laughs> mm-hmm. Next thing you know, they're really involved in it, and uh, that's what they're they're needing officials at that level as well. Mm-hmm. Right. They really do. So it's not just here. If your aspiration carries you something bigger, it's there for you. People don't realize there's. Actually, SEC officials and NBA officials that, that lived in this county. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, that's right. right. I mean, that, it's not that's like right. it's off. It's not off in Chicago or somewhere. Is that right? right? Oh, it's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, final thoughts from any of you guys. I'm just kind of, kind of handing the mic over to you guys for any final thoughts. 
Um, I'll let you start on it, Craig. Well, I appreciate that. Well, I mean, hey, <laughs> final thoughts is like, you'll really just give it a try. You'll enjoy it. Uh, you'll have a good time. You'll make money doing it. And like I said, it may lead into something a little more than you thought it was going to. Uh, when I first started calling another sport, I just did it for a little extra cash. And I've been calling 20 years now other sports. And I've been doing softball, and I've done volleyball, and right. I've made a career out of it. That's awesome. And, I, and it's because I enjoy it. That is awesome. And uh, um, go ahead. I just I just think that um, we're just petitioning other people. We have got a lot more schools probably than we can handle. But the thing about it is, like he was saying earlier, word of mouth. So that tells you that we're going in the right direction. So we just petition out to people to come out, try it out, and I guarantee you they would love it. And we'll do everything it takes to try to ease that little hump that you get over. And um, we just we just want good quality officials. No doubt. Yeah. Um, just, I have a lot of people that tells me, I don't think I can do that. Um, but I promise you, come try it. If you say, my work schedule won't allow me to do it, I don't think, we'll work around your work schedule. We work around a lot of people's work schedules. So if this is something you think you would like to do, please come give it a try. We'd like to have you. Guys, I appreciate the time uh, you Thank guys you. here today before your meeting, and um, we'll get this message out and many others in the future. If you guys ever need us, you definitely hit, hit us up. And, Thank you. And we're going to get some links and some info to uh, a direct bridge uh, to you guys so we can kind of help out as much as possible. Thank well, you again. Thank, Thank you so much. You.